Okay, good morning guys. Um, hope you're all keeping well. So we're going to continue on with this uh, with simultaneous equations. So we're using simultaneous equations to solve problems. Um, so this is a particular type of uh, problem that you could be asked as well. So let's just read the Let's read the question. So, 30 adults and children visited the cinema. Tickets cost €5 euro for an adult and €3 euro for a child. The total cost of the visit was €114. Euro. Now, what you've been asked to do is find the number of adults who visited the cinema and the number of children who visited the cinema. So, the number of adults and the number of children are, are unknowns. Now, what we can do is we can let... So, we need to identify our variables. So let's have a look. So what we can do, so we have, so we see here we have 30 adults. So 30 adults, okay. We have the, the cost of the tickets, five euro. And five euro for adult. And three euro for a child. And then the total cost of the visit Was, is equal to 114 euro. So the first thing that you want to do then, you want to, let me just change this. So you want to, we want to find out our X and our Y variables. So we let the number of adults, so adults, the number, okay, that's a bit, Second there. Okay, so let's just we'll just start over here. Okay, so the number of adults is equal to we let it be equal to x. Okay, it's an unknown and it's something that we want to find out. Um, number of children. Is equal to y. So these are our two variables that we want to we want to find out. We want to find out what the value is for x and what the value is for y because that's what the question asks. Find the number of adults who visited the cinema and the number of children who visited the cinema. So that, that's what we're trying to figure out. So I just want to get rid of this here. Okay so how do we go about doing that? So if then x is the number of adults and y is the number of children, we can first of all we can figure out. So we see that the tickets for the adult cost five euro and the tickets for the child cost three euro. And the total, if you add up the total amount for both, it's equal to 114 euro. So what we can actually say is we can create one equation. So we can say we can create an equation something like this. So five x plus 3y is equal to 114. 114. So we see here, okay, so we have, so 5, the 5 comes from the 5 euro here. The 3 comes from the 3 euro here, the price of the tickets for an adult and the price of the tickets for a child. And this 114 comes from here. So, so we have the number of adults is x. So x multiplied by five is the total cost of the total money spent, let's say, on the adult portion of the tickets. And three euros multiplied by y, which is the number of children, is equal to the total cost of the uh, child's portion of the tickets. And when we add the two of these together, the total amount is 114 euros. So this is equation one. So equation one, so 5x plus 3y is equal to 114, and, and that's where we've got it from. But now we need, so we need um, two equations in order to be able to work a simultaneous equation. So what's the second equation? Now we know that, that we know the total number of, we know the number of adults, sorry, 30 adults and children. 
visited the cinema, okay? So we know that if, so X is the number of adults and Y is the number of children. So therefore the second equation would be X plus Y will be equal to 30. Okay, so X again is the number, is the adults, and Y are the children, the number of children. Now remember with simultaneous equations, remember when we were talking about them, they're simultaneous equations because the same value for x solves both equations and the same value for y solves both equations. So in both equations, x represents the number of adults and y represents the number of children. And that's the same, that number is going to be the same in both equations. It's not going to change. The value for it is, is not going to change. And that's what we're trying to find out. So we're trying to find the number of adults um, and the number of children who visited the cinema. That's the whole point of the question. It's the whole point of the simultaneous equations. So we're trying to figure this out. So now we see here we have our we have but we have our equation one and our equation two. So now what we can start to do is we can start to work through and uh, solve the simultaneous equations just like what we've been doing. And I'm going to go through that now. And by doing that, we're actually going to figure out what the value for x is, and what the value is for y is. And by doing that, we'll figure out the number of adults and the number of children that visited the cinema. Now, the first thing that we want to do when we're looking at solving simultaneous equations, so we want to get rid of one of the variables. So in what we can do is we can start to focus on the y variable. So the y variable on the top and the y variable on the bottom. Now, what we need to do is we need both of these variables to have the same coefficient. So we want them to have the same number three and we want them to have opposite signs. Now, if we have a look at this, like what do we have to do to this? What do we have to do to this, this y variable here in order to change it so that it's minus three y? But what we can do is we can multiply every expression within this we can multiply every term in this expression in equation two by uh, minus three. So we can do that here. So we just write minus three multiplied by, and what that means is we're going to multiply everything, every, each individual term in equation two, in expression two by minus three. And then what we'll do is we'll just rewrite, we'll rewrite this down here, okay? So we re, we'll re, rewrite equation so we'll just do equation one first of all, so one. So we're just all we're doing is bringing it down. So 5x plus 3y is equal to 114. Now what we want to do is we want to multiply this out. So tr minus 3x by x, by y, and by 30. And then we put the, the new values down here. So we write equation two. So minus 3x, so minus 3 times x, it's going to be minus 3x. Now this here means multiplied by, it's not x, it's 3 multiplied, minus 3 multiplied by. So this means, so it's going to be minus 3x, minus 3 multiplied by plus y is going to be equal to minus 3y is equal to, and minus 3 multiplied by plus 30 is going to be minus 90. Now what we do is we just add the two equations together. So 114 plus 90, let's get my calculator. So 100, let's cancel this. So 114 plus, and it's minus 90. So it's going to be 114 minus 90 is equal to 24. Okay, so this, so this is equal to 24. So you have plus 114 minus 90, and that's equal to 24, is equal to, so we have plus 3y minus 3y, these two will just cancel out. So that's the reason why we carried out this operation here. We multiplied everything in this expression by minus 3, and it changed, we changed it to this this new expression here. Um, so they'll cancel out. And now we have 5x minus 3x. 
So if we are on 5x and we minus 3x, that's going to be equal to 2x. Okay, so 2x is equal to 4. And let's just write this down here so we can so that we can work with it. So 2x is equal to 24. Now what we want to find out is what is x equal to? Now in order to get rid of this 2 from in front of the x, we have to, so this is 2 multiplied by the value for x. So we do the opposite operation. So if this is multiplication, then the opposite is division. So we have to divide this by 2 to get to turn this 2 into a 1. Now, whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to do exactly the same on the other side. So we have to divide this by 2 as well. So what we find out then is that x is equal to x is equal to 12. x is equal to 12. So that goes in there once, that goes in there once, 2 goes in there once, and 2 goes in there 12 times. So x is equal to x is equal to 12. Now remember, x is equal to 12, and that's one of the values that we wanted to try and figure out. So we know now that the number of adults that visited the cinema is 12. So x is equal to 12, and so we know that, so 12 adults. So there's 12 adults in the cinema. Now, because we figured out the number of adults that's visited the cinema, we can now easily work out the number of children that have visited the cinema. So what we do is we just take our equation. So we, we can take equation one. So we can just take this equation one here. So equation one, I'll just copy this one and bring it down here. Okay, so, so we take equation one and we, we've worked out what the value for we've worked out what the value for x is. So x is equal to 12. Now what we do is we take this value for x and we substitute it into the equation here. So the value for x we substitute it into the equation. So And we're doing that because we want to try and find out um, what y is equal to. So what does that look like? So it's going to be 5, open bracket, so multiplied by the value for x which is 12, plus 3y is equal to 100, 114. Now we just multiply this out. So this means 5 multiplied by 12. So we can just use our calculator to do that. So 5 multiplied by 12 is equal to 60. So we just write this down here. So 60 plus 3y is equal to 114. Now we want to try and get this y, 3y on its own. So what's in its way? is 60. So this is plus 60. Now in order to turn this to 0, we have to minus 60. If I minus 60 from this side, I have to minus 60 from the other side as well. So minus 60. So these two will cancel out and we'll be left with, let's just see what this works out as. So it's going to be 3y is equal to, so 114 minus 60. So again, we can use our calculator. So cancel, so 114 minus 60 is equal to 54. So it's equal to 54. Now, in order to get rid of the tree, so this is tree multiplied by y, again, similar to what we've done with the x variable. So we have to, do, we do the opposite of multiplication, we divide. So we divide this by tree. If we divide this by tree, we have to divide this by tree. So y then is going to be equal to 54 divided by 3. So 54 divided by 3 is equal to 18. Is equal to 18. So now what does this tell us then? So remember our variable y, we decided to say our variable y is the number of children that went to the cinema. So therefore we've found out that y is equal to 18. So therefore 18 18 children went to the cinema. Now, what we can do, so we figured out the y value and we figured out the x value. 
or we figured out the number of adults that have went to the cinema and the number of children that went to the cinema. And we figured that out based on the, the price of the tickets for the adults, the price of the tickets for the children, and the total amount of money that was co that was collected, let's say, on that particular night in the cinema. Um, now what we can do is we can, we can, to be doubly sure that we have the right x and y value, we see here, if we take equation one, so I'll just take equation one here, Okay, just undo. Okay, so equation one. So I copy this and bring it down here. Okay, so equation, equation. So if this is right, okay, if the number of adults is twelve and the number of children is 18, then going by equation, going by what we've learned from the question, we've 30 adults in total, uh, 30 adults and children, then when we add up these two variables, it should be equal to 30. So what we're saying is that the values for X and the value, the value for X and the value for Y should satisfy this equation, X plus Y is equal to 30. And we can check it out. So X, so X is 12. So we can just, we can substitute in the values into this equation. So 12 plus the values for y plus 18. And as we see, if we add these two up, it is equal to 30. So we can be fairly satisfied that, um, that the values for x and the values for y are correct. But again, this is just how you use a simultaneous equation, how you use simultaneous equations to solve problems, such as this problem here. Okay, so we're going to bring, put it over to you now. So what I want you to do, I want you to give this question a go here. So the entrance to a fun fair park costs two euro for adults and one euro for children. A scout leader brings a troop, 12 people in total, to the fun park. It costs her 17 euro in total. Let x equal the number of adults and let y equal the number of children. Write down two equations in x and y and hence find their values. So what you're trying to find out is you're trying to find out the number of children and number of adults that were brought to the fun park. And um, so again, it's very similar to this question here that we've done. So you need to, first of all, it tells you to let x equal the number of adults and y equal the number of children. So you need to write your equations just like we've done here. Um, so give it a go, write out your answer on a pay, on, into your copy, take a picture of it and just send it to me via the chat option. Okay, so that's it just for today's lesson. So give that one a go and um, let me know how you're getting on with it. Okay, thank you.